Hello friends, welcome to programming knowledge. In this video, we will see uh, how we can use React Native to build Android and iOS apps. So this is the first video in the React Native for Beginners series. And uh, as we go further, we will learn how to develop apps in both the platform for Android and iOS. So the first question is, what is React Native? React Native is basically a JavaScript framework which is used to develop apps for both Android and iOS. The biggest advantage of React Native is that we can use a single code base to write applications for both Android and iOS. It is developed by Facebook and it is based on React.js. If you already know React.js then it is very easy for you to migrate to React Native. As I said earlier, single code base is used for both Android and iOS. So you don't need to write a uh, different code to achieve the same thing for Android and iOS. And it is also beneficial for those who already know JavaScript because in React Native, we use JavaScript to create different components Everything in React Native is defined as a component. We create different component and we reuse them to develop application for both the platforms. The advantages, as I said earlier, a single code base is used for both the platforms. It is the biggest advantage that you find in React Native. You don't need to go through the process to write different code base to achieve the, achieve the same functionalities in Android and iOS apps. Hot Reload is something that React Native is very famous for. Whenever you make any changes to your app, to your code base, you don't need to build the entire app just to test it. You can just save it and it will. you can see the changes automatically in your app. It is called Hot Reload. And uh, when initially React Native was announced, then there were some issues regarding the performance. But um, in today's time, it provides a strong performance in both the platforms. You cannot tell by just using the app that whether it's developed in native environment or with the React Native. And the community support is very strong for the React Native. If you stuck somewhere uh, while developing any app through the React Native, you can find the solution online. The documentation provided by the Facebook is very rich. Uh, you can solve all your doubts uh, through the documents and you can find several videos on the internet also. There are some disadvantages also. Sometimes code becomes very confusing, especially if you are coming from the native development, if you used to code in Android Studio or Xcode. Uh, if your app is very much big and complex, then sometimes code becomes very confusing. And for the beginners, it, it seems a little bit hard because we use JavaScript for the development purpose and you have to create all the component by yourself from the scratch. React Native pro does provide some libraries. So in the beginning, you find a little bit hard and native development is still needed because if you want to achieve something that is not provided in the react native library then you need to uh, write some code on the native as you write on the android studio for the android apps and xcode for the ios app so but mo most of the time it does not require to do that let us consider a scenario that uh, if you are a owner of a tech company, 
which has a app that people can download from the app store or play store then of course you want to target both android and ios customers so in this scenario if react native was uh, not the case then you need to hire two teams one team is uh, responsible for development of android app and one team is uh, responsible for development of ios app so you need to hire two teams and whenever you need to achieve some functionality in both the apps then both the development team have to write two different uh, source code or base code to achieve that in the platform now consider a scenario that you have react native so in this case you don't need to hire two teams one for android and one for ios you can just hire one team who has knowledge of react native and with a single code base you can develop apps for both the platform android and ios and in this case if uh, so if something new comes up then it you can write a single code base to achieve this on both the apps there are some famous apps that are built on react native like over its skype instagram and discord so that's it. Thanks for watching this video.